Happy Sunday, everybody. This is a quick, spontaneous live for you from my garden. I have to keep, if I go like that, I'll show you my washing. You don't really want to see my washing. So I thought I would come and uh, show off what a beautiful day it is here in Wales, but I have more important things to share. My brain has been whizzing about those of you who know me through the, from meeting me in the early adopters group, or maybe you know me through here and you're on the early adopters group as well on Facebook. There's been a lot of conversations about clarification of the meaning of early learning goals uh, if you follow the English early years curriculum. And first of all, I want to say that I don't think this is the time of the year where we really should be having these conversations. I don't mean that in a judgy way. I mean, isn't it sad that that this is the way, the topsy-turvy way things are, that we're trying to find out what these mean at the end of the year. And actually, of course, we need to have these in mind all of the time, not aiming to reach the destination necessarily, but what does it mean and therefore what does the journey look like? So there's a lot more to discuss there. But for those of you who um, finished school in July, and you are under that awful pressure at the moment with report writing and assessments and so forth. And even those of you who aren't, but your children are on the same journey, or those of you in nursery and your children are on that journey, but a year before, we've all in the same boat together. What I want to do is offer you an opportunity to come and learn in a way where if your children are ready to achieve those early learning goals. So the one I'm thinking of specifically is the number one. Sorry, that's gonna move because my husband, <laughs> husband's building something and I can hear him making a noise. So if your children are ready to achieve the, the early learning goal about number bonds, and we need to talk about the difference as well between number bonds and number facts, I want you to give you meaningful, engaging mathematics that will enable them to gain those early learning goals. I am not trying to get as many children through to achieving those as possible because if they're not ready, they're not ready and that's so important. But there's a big difference between what we've known and how we've taught them and therefore how well they've done compared to whether they're ready or not. And my inclination, honestly, if you, oh, and there's Blue, by the way, wants to say hello. Um, my inclination is, when we're talking about children who haven't got specific special needs, there's there's no reason for any child not to achieve those. But it does, it is all part of one big journey. And my job is to allow you to join that journey wherever you're at, whether you've been teaching three months or 30 years, it doesn't matter. We don't know what we don't know. We haven't, absolutely haven't been given the tools we need to do our job well. So no amount of intelligence, hard work, commitment on your part. It's awful, but it doesn't make a difference if you haven't got the right tools. The minute you have all of those attitudes come together and you are phenomenal. But we have for too long been saying, you know, my staff work so hard, they care so much. And you're like, do you know what? That wouldn't make a good doctor. It would be lovely, but it's the medical knowledge that makes a good doctor. So what I'm going to offer you, and I need to think about the logistics of this, is I am going to offer you the chance to join an outdoor maths course with me. It is pre-recorded and I'm going to offer, as I say, offer you a chance to have it in your library. I'm then going to set up a pop-up Facebook group, which will be for this outdoor maths. And I, it won't be like one of my challenges because I I will be in there a lot, but I haven't got the time to commit to how I would with a challenge. The next challenge will be in the autumn term, for those of you who've done these with me before. But I am thinking we've got a course called the Obstacle Course, and I'm going to extend that to be outdoor games for your children to do. So this will literally be the way you're going to teach maths if you wish to join me. And we are going to do um, outdoor games that are going to be full of talk, full of collaboration, full of mark making, full of subitizing, using five frames, using 10 frames, talking about number names, writing number names. So you are going to hit pretty much all of the early learning goals. And apart from anything else, what I'll be able to help you do is make accurate assessments because I know you're under pressure to have certain numbers, but we know, and I mean numbers of children, we know in our hearts, we want to assess children accurately. But the thing that I really think we need to focus on is when children are not doing as well as we would hope in maths, what can we do differently to really enable that child to have deep understanding? So true mastery of number. So I hope that makes sense. 
uh, watch out, sorry about the, the wind. <laughs> I've, got, like, I've got a comb over going on. Um, I will give you more information, but the main thing to do, my, my call to action from this video for you, is head over to my website, which it's at the top of the Facebook group on the big picture, but it's www.eymaths.co.uk because this is the group to support that training. So you need to know those two things coexist. At the top of the, um, the homepage, it says download your super subitizing resources. Now that's 14 cards of great support, subject knowledge and ideas for you. So it's a no brainer not to download it. When you go and put your name in, please make sure you click on the subscribe option because the subscribe option is what allows me to email you. If you don't click on that, you know, the GDPR, which is data protection, I'm not allowed to email you. So I can't let you know about this apart from on the Facebook group. If you already subscribe to me and you think, I don't know if I clicked that subscribe button, all you need to do is if you're on your phone, when you go to the website, look under settings on the menu, click on settings and when you go into settings you'll find there's like three options that are about permissions just make sure they're all ticked if you're on a computer you need to log in because you're already a member of my community as it were so you log in if you've forgotten your password no problem click on forgot password I do that all the time but click on the little avatar top right and you'll see settings there and do exactly the same because the thing is, I cannot let you know and keep you up to date with stuff if you haven't given me your permission. And the trouble is I can't ask you for your permission because I can't email you. It's a bit of a, you know, going around in circles. All right, so from a beautiful Wales, like I'm gonna give you a little tour. If you don't know me, look at this. I, how, I don't know if lucky is the word, look at this. This is the, um, the beautiful place that we called home. It's gorgeous. And uh, we bought an ugly house in a beautiful place and now we're trying to make the house more beautiful. So wherever you are in the world, any questions, pop them below. But the simple thing is, I will make this course, the obstacle course, available to you. I've got to do the website stuff to make that possible. I will invite you to a pop-up group and you will be doing this alongside my Impact members because I was just going to offer this to Impact. And then I thought, because of what I'm seeing on the Early Adopters group, people... You are, I know how much pressure and stress you're under. I know that, you know, literally you're hanging on by your fingertips. So I want to give you the support you need and deserve. And I want you to go into September feeling very differently about maths and knowing you've always got the support you deserve. All right. So any questions, any comments, any thoughts, as always, just uh, pop below or you can, you know, pop a message or even send me an email if you want. There's a contact button on the website. All right. Take care, everyone, and uh, have a lovely day wherever you are.